Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Gianna. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the We Watch, Watch It All podcast, podcast, where we watch it all and give you our opinions. AKA the opinions no one ever asked for. Real Housewives OC. OC. I think before we get into this really quick, we're going to do the taglines first. But before that, I want to make this announcement just in case anybody doesn't listen to the end. We're moving our crappy lake from Wednesdays to Thursdays because the new New York is back. Or not back, but no. New York's back, but it's different. We're going to put those guys on Wednesday because they both air Monday for us. So we're going to put them on Wednesday, then crappy I'm on Thursday. I'm not going to lie, though. They look like they're having stupid fights already in the coming attractions. I only saw like one little one while we've been watching Gosh, Atlanta, like, but I really I really don't know much about New York, so this is going to be interesting. I just wanted to mention that really quickly. And I'll say we'll stay as Monday as always. Yeah. Just a quick little mention before you enter. All right, let's do the taglines though because you guys have been waiting. They have not been putting them in, so we just went on YouTube. They've been out for over a month now. <laughs> we apologize. We will not let I this happen they, with New uh, York. So I guess they cut that out to fit in the footage. I don't know. I don't know. It's just different, but it's okay. It's Whatever. fine. No, it's not. Um, no, but it's actually, not. I don't really like the way it starts because it just starts directly right. Here into we go. the show. And it's like, sometimes you're like, wait, did I miss something? Because if you don't remember what happened last week, it's like, we. I'm not going to lie. There were some things where I'm like, mm. Yeah, you always have to think twice. And I don't have that that brain capacity to think twice. I'm There's too much housewife <sighs> content. I'm consuming at this point. I have Atlanta. I have OC. Yeah. I got crappy. And now I'm going to have New York. Way too much for my brain well, to handle. My question to you is this. Did you predict the order that they came up on the screen in, do you think? Was the that, tagline? Was that what you expected to see the order that they were in? Or did you expect them somebody to be coming first opposed to somebody else? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think I thought Tamara was going to be the last one. Oh, I, yeah. I, saw I that don't know. One. I guess, but yeah, but I don't know. Because I, I think they're using last as the best. top banana. Yeah. See, well, but, the, I think but for, Jen's no, so no, but, close to no, last. No, but see, here's my thing. First and last, I think, are the two top premium spots. And I, I'm i not surprised mm. that Shannon is first. Yeah, I guess, because it's... Yeah, all right. Well, let's get let's just quickly run through these taglines then. All right, so we'll we have a little Shannon. ranking. Yeah. Shannon is in Orange County. I call the shots, and it's always tequila. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was okay. Tequila, yeah. Predictable. Yeah, nothing special. It's it's yeah. it's it's Kyle Beverly Hills. Yeah, it was definitely yeah. predictable. Heather's was interesting. Yeah, you got to think about it to get it. Go ahead and read it. I yes. live in HD, sharp, bright, and more focused than ever. Yeah. HD, Heather DeBro. Uh, initials hd's like the one right, of the best qualities might, hers might be the best though. yes it's you know what it's weather very heather DeBro. you gotta think about it to get it like that's not but you know what that is the thing it's like you're not just gonna get it off like the first thing like i got it i was like okay hd but technically hd is not the best quality we have anymore nowadays it's like the bare minimum you know we're looking at yeah. 4k 8k but it's all right it's cute i get it when you get it, you get it. Yeah, I I, I liked that one now that... Now that said, I've explained yeah, it. It's very sweet, but you need that Heather I just thought she logic was, I just thought she it. was being like, you know, like sassy or whatever. Yeah. But. Well, kind of, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like they always say she has that vocabulary about her or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? So, I guess so. Then in the middle you have Emily and Gina. So, Emily's is, if you want to waste my time... At, at least, least hand me a taco. taco. What the hell is that, Emily? Well, she. You know what? She's lucky no, I didn't know about this. Really, remember that, well, whatever the yeah, the one with the tacos. It all makes yeah. sense. Yeah, but here's my thing, Emily. You're so lucky I didn't know about this for the last six episodes because I would have ragged on you so hard for it, girl. This is the worst tagline I've ever heard in yeah, history. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. This is embarrassing, and I can't even believe she got in the booth and said that. She should be ashamed of herself. No, that is uh, that. She did. And who approved that? I don't know. Somebody, somebody on the production team hates Emily, and they purposely chose that. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Next. I think she picked it. I hope I not, think Emily. They do give them like no, they give them a group, a group to, to read, pick, yeah. but I don't think they end up picking. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but I'm embarrassed and ashamed and all of the above. I don't Next, know. so Gina, the difference between my past and present. Well, that's just apples and oranges, and I, I thought that's that cute. was yeah. I thought that was pretty cute. That's a little that's a little housewife lore you need, but though. she doesn't reference New York a lot anymore. So it's no, like, it would have been good for like early season. Yeah, like when she went back with Heather. Then you have Jen. My core may be strong, but my resilience is stronger. I guess that's a it's reference like a to workout, her yoga. Yoga, yeah. Okay, it's a newbie tagline. Uh, yeah, it's really nothing. It's still better than the taco. Yeah, I don't know. I think the taco is good. 
No, I'm not letting her have it. And then you have Tamara, which I think hers is pretty darn good. Yeah. She's like, I might, I might have been on pause, but now I'm ready to play. Yeah. So I, I thought hers was good. I yeah. think the order was pretty much what I would have suspected. I would have thought Shin and Heather. Yeah. Either I Emily, know, I Gino, which flip flop. Somewhere in the middle. I think you know what I think threw me off was that Shannon and Heather are like such originals that you would have expected to see Tamara in that half. And not with the newbies, but I guess she's still, she's technically a newbie. Gotta start again. Gotta start again. Well, this is season 17, episode 6, which I was like, really like, wow, we're up to 6 already? I thought maybe I wrote it wrong. But no. no. That's why I was so shocked when we didn't like when we went back and I looked at New Jersey and the taglines were on 4. And I'm like, oh my god, we're like going on 6 next week. No, but I just don't feel like we're that deep in. Yeah. Well, this this trip has been, what, now three episodes? Uh, yeah, but it two is two and a half. Yeah, but it is over. But I just, I just didn't anticipate it to be that we were that far in already. Because they wasted a lot of time in the in that first episode, the second one. Yeah, like it they was did a drag lot, it it a little a lot bit of out. diddle daddling. Well, this is the uh, big trouble in Big Sky. I big, don't big trouble, big trouble, big sky. I don't know. That's what it says. That doesn't make any sense. You know I what? I've know. been nothing but confused with these titles. <laughs> But it starts right back up with Heather and Gina in that little golf cart or whatever they were in. Ryan, I thought we finished that last week. No, that's how it started. Sorry. <sighs> and it started with her talking about her marriage. Well, her ex, the ex-husband marriage situation with Matt. And Heather was telling him, you know, kind of telling her, like, you shouldn't really talk to him about that. But going, like, fast forwarding a little bit ahead, I really thought that he was, he did, like, his first solo interview. Yeah, um, he had a sit down. Yeah, and it's always I big, Travis, always big when a husband gets a sit down. I know it's he's very, not even a husband yet. But oh yeah, I keep tra- forgetting. Yeah. I forget what he is. But I thought it was very sweet. His whole thing was very was you know he's a very nice guy. So he seems like she obviously did better. Then you get them all getting into their PJs. Did you think any of them were staying in those tents? No, I thought I thought maybe if the tents were a little bit more glamped up. But yeah, I didn't think anybody nobody was, gonna was stay staying there. But I was there. waiting to try to see how they were going to get out of it. But, but here's my thing: they go, they so they went all the way there. They didn't even really eat. They got dressed oh, in these well, stupid they, tents and no, left and went did, back home. They did eat a little bit, but a really little bit, but nothing. not much. Like a few of them were tasting the the bison or whatever it was. So and they went there to go even eat food that they didn't even really want to eat. What no. a waste of a night. And here's my thing. If Tamara's supposed to be wanting to experience the life, how many nights are you going to pop a tent in the backyard, Well, that's Tamara? what I'm saying, too. Like, you're not going to do that. That's not what you're doing. And honestly, are you going to be eating bison? No. I don't care if that's the meat of choice in that state. You're not going to eat it, so why are you pretending like you should eat it? Or No. Yeah, so I thought that was weird. But, of course, once again, as they're getting dressed and they're just, like, discussing their own little things in their own little world, the cooks are over there, the two I ladies. I think it's done. This the, they're well, like, the fish is definitely done. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, this is done, that's done. I think we should, you know, something's going to You know what, burn. maybe they just plated like a little piece on each of their plate and saved it for the rest of them as I don't know. They were, they for were, time. They were very concerned that things were going to burn. And then you have Tamara, you know, she's over there telling the others about, like, I guess what her and, kind of what her and Jen talked about and that she wasn't the only married woman that yeah. apparently this Ryan hit on and stuff. I don't know where I was when... She was repeating that. I feel like I remember, but not really. Like, I couldn't put my finger on it when she was saying that he hit on her as well, or he said he was going to hit on her as as well. Like, Tamara? They talked about that last week. Yeah, I just don't, I can't picture where it was in there. I can't remember it. Hmm. There was she a lot of yelling. Said it in her... no, but it was, there was a lot of yelling going on and stuff like that last oh, week, Oh, you think too. it was during that, like, where the ladies yeah, were Yeah, where talking? they were, like, flip-flopping in and out. The chefs, and yeah, I don't, I yeah, think it was. Well, it was a lot. I think it was over there, or it was somewhere in that. Heather, I, I love it dearly, but my God. A little kooky, what happened well, there? She mentioned smoking a, a, a joint she about 100 times. Well, you know what? You saw how much it cost. It was like over $400, so she said, I need to get it done and I used, guess. pretty much. That was her, she was buying that up there? I don't know. I looked it was like it was at the Cowboy shop, it, Yeah, though. I know, it was kind of... You know, you can't figure it out with these flashback clips, when or where, who, how, what, where, when, why, all the W's but and here's, the H. Here's the thing that gets me. So she's running around getting people to, to smoke this joint. Shannon's talking to Gina by the fire. And in the background, where no one notices, you hear someone say, I'm on fire. Did you not no! hear No! Who's on fire? I don't have a clue, but somebody said, I'm on fire. And I no one... Are you sure? I, why didn't you say, let's replay that clip? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't go back for it. I was just like, nobody <laughs> even noticed. And then they show Heather buying the $400 worth of pot. And, of course, no one slept in the tents, like we said. But here's my thing. 
you saw how kooky they get in the house in the villa with after smoking, right? Yeah. You thought they should have. She was gonna unleash them in the wild. I don't think that would. Hi, that no. that's that's the worst idea you've ever come up with, Heather DeBro. Let me just say that that was a horrible idea. She mentioned it again back in the house, like this was something she we were gonna. Uh, she do. had planned, I guess. I don't know. Maybe she felt like that's a little more Montana living then. I, I I don't know. It was crazy. All right, so they end up back at the villa, and they all end up high as a kite. And you hear Tamara say that Heather got her stoned or whatever. Yeah. And then the next day they wake up, and it's either fly fishing or whitewater rafting. I feel like this group has done whitewater rafting. I don't know. I feel like it's a housewife right of patches, passage to do that, like, boat thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of Beverly Hills, but I don't think Taylor think was Beverly there Hills at that time, though. I think Beverly Taylor Hills Taylor was has, gone off there, I think they have But done Taylor it did get I on that like boat I remember, she knew what she was doing. But I feel like I remember Brandy being on whitewater rafting. I don't know. I, I feel... And, I do and feel like... Erica. I don't know where I'm getting this from, but I do feel like I remember that. I feel that. like I remember, yeah, like... like Maybe at least a Rena. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Kyle. Because remember, didn't somebody fall so. off the boat? I think so. I can't remember who, I don't but... know. But yeah, I don't think it was it was Beverly Hills with them. Or OC with Tamara either. Because no. Tamara definitely didn't know what she was doing. So I feel like they've... Do- I feel like at every show I've seen them do this, though. This white water rafting. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, I, this one was particularly entertaining. And then you see Jen talking to her boyfriend, Ryan, about... Like all the stuff with Tamara, she really he didn't really she uh, she really didn't go into it with well, him. Well, I kind of liked how she said she wasn't gonna try to do it over Facetime and talk about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, I wasn't even questioning why she wasn't asking him until the sit down. She's like, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'd rather talk to him. Well, in it person. makes more sense because you want to make sure the person's not pissed. You want to see their face. I do like that she questions Tamara when Tamara does this shady stuff right away. Like she's like, I feel like Tamara's trying to get the women to see me differently and like to have a different like yeah. opinion, which I don't understand because if she's friends with her like what but is she doing then later on she does make it seem like jen that her and this other girl heather and tamra they were close and then they had a falling out like all three of them like they yeah. each individually stopped talking as a group like her and tamra didn't talk until like more recently i guess so well yeah I don't know. And they, so i guess and she kind of they both kind of stated that yeah. i remember that they said that they had a problem which i think i remember a while back when i talked about that live that her and shannon did she talked about that and then you get gina talking to travis and that didn't go anywhere. I thought they were going to do one of those, like, Jen and Ryan, uh, Gina and Travis, like, yeah. like, where they went back and forth. But it was, like, Gina really Was didn't... it never before seen entirely? I think that whole scene might have been never before seen. I can't really remember. I don't know. It could have been. But, I mean, I thought. I kind of blacked out on a lot of Gina scenes this week. No offense, Gina. Yeah. I did. You know what? You know what was so taken back. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I saw it this week. Was the orange sit down outfit? Like it really was hitting you. me hard. Because you know what? She was making a couple like little kooky faces that was like, like she was yeah. really like. No, that orange I, outfit. I is really like, got it. What this week. and why didn't it. anybody see that? And they needed to stop it, but they didn't. <laughs> Nobody stopped it. Well, the, well the, if they're mm-hmm. letting Emily say she wants a damn taco with the world's worst tagline, they're gonna let this slip by too. Of course. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen, Tamara, and Taylor go whitewater rafting, which is exactly who I thought was going to go whitewater rafting. Oh, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. way Shannon's going, Heather's going, and Gina's just too scared. Heather. Gina's afraid of the water, remember? No, Heather. I was going to say Heather may. I did think Heather might might have, might have but then I'm like, mm. not with the group of three. No. I if mean, they after had you watch one. these three in this wa- water waiting, like with waders on, waders on, yeah, Wonders, it yeah. was. Yeah, it's. Was I got a good question for you. Pretty. Where would you think Emily would have gone? I think uh, she would have thrown down in the white water. I, I think she would have. Yeah, I think she probably would have. I think she, she actually would have split from Gina and went on that. I mean, I think I could have seen her doing either one. I but know. I could. See I think she would have done white water rafting. Oh, okay, maybe she would have went with Gina, like you said. She might have followed right up her crack and hind, but what? So the other girls went fly fishing. And they give them the waders to wear, which I don't understand because all of them kept saying that they were getting water in them. So I don't know, were they falling that far into the water? Yes, they were. I they guess. like the way they fell on their butt, they kind of like leaned back. And yeah, I, think I guess. The current was like swooping the water oh, maybe, into yeah, the yeah. top of it. Down, like when Gina fell, you could see the way she fell. She kind of like slipped. Which she fell out of nowhere. But let's not. Let's, we gotta rewatch that. Let's not over. Let's not overlook Heather's black lace fan that had some kind of wording on it. I think it said, it. I'm hot. Could have been. That would have made appropriate sense. Where's your fan, dude? Where's my fan? She has a fan, but it's not. doesn't say I'm hot on it. It says, uh, I it says I'm from ki- the dollar store. And I'm a Kiwi. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. This is why we need a camera. 
Right? That would be funny, though, that her thing said I'm hot. But it was... you know what? It was very laced and very thin, and I'm not sure how much wind it was catching. Let me tell you, my thing catches a hell of a breeze over here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it would have probably been fine, probably. I mean, Maybe. she looked like she was doing a good job with it. So then the other girls are getting ready to go into the raft and into the rapids, and you have... It seemed, uh, the way they were all acting, everybody seemed like they were in the rapids. I know. Oh, well, yeah. The girls in the fly fishing definitely seemed like they were in the rapids. Uh, you thought the water was going to, like, come... It looked very still, though, when they were... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Once they got in, it was, like, mayhem. But you have Taylor on one side of the boat, and then you have Jen and Tamara on the other side, and the instructor is sitting in the back. And they made a comment about the skinniest girl being by herself or something like yeah. that. I don't know. I think Taylor's scrappy enough that she probably could have stayed by herself and been just fine. She seemed just fine. Well, she was the only one paddling. Well, because you had Jen and Tamara, like, huddling in the yeah, corner they were with not the paddle. paddle. And, the, and the gentleman said to them, he said, listen... I'm going to be shouting out orders and I'm going to need you to follow the orders because if you don't yeah. pa- follow them and you don't paddle, then we won't go, sh- like, you know, we won't go straight and I need you to do that to go straight. And of course, the minute he screamed the instructions to paddle, Tamara starts like curling up in a fetal ball and saying, no, 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 basically. <laughs> it was all no. And, and uh, she thought she was getting on a lazy river ride. I don't know the what. She and they're all acting. screaming at her to paddle and she's just not paddling. And then you zoom into Gina getting taken away by the current or something. We had to literally be watching because I'm like, like, what, what? happened? It was almost like she was like a quicksand. Her feet started sinking and she just fell over. Like, the water did not look like it was that crazy. But well, they, there think, was a wind also because her hat blew off her head and the, yeah, and the fly fishing it. guy caught it. So I think it was more like the wind, wind that looked, pushed I mean, her down. I mean, when you looked at the water, maybe it looked a little crazy, but... Well, I think the current and the wind probably could have took her down for sure. Yeah. I can't, I'm not, I should not be one to speak. I, I'm falling doesn't, over on just Well, floor. she doesn't look that stable on her feet either, so... Um, well, and you know Shannon Bedore is definitely not. She couldn't do the yoga. No, and she, in turn, in the end, takes everybody down. I mean, well, they all take each other down because you got Heather trying to get up, the other one trying to get up, Shannon trying to get up. I thought they were going to pull the old there's man a lobster. into the water. No, Apparently, no, there's a towards, lobster in the water. Towards, I think that was the never before seen clip. I don't know. They added more onto it. But at one point, once he gets them up and closer to shore, he they disappears. S- did you notice he was not in any of the scenes after that? Yeah, no, I did notice it. He, he disappeared. Like, uh, uh, I let them fend for themselves. Yeah, I wasn't sure where he went. He was definitely on that shore, though, because I know Gina kept saying, you didn't tell us there was a lobsters in here. Glenn, what? I want to say. I don't know what she was doing. Bob? I don't know what she was doing Something. with that lobsters in there. And then they, they just kept seeing things. And I think it was Heather that said to Shannon, can you stop pointing out the wildlife or something like that? Yeah, I, it was it was crazy. And then, of course, they go over to the rafting girls. And they're dealing with their instructor, who's showing apparently all their junk in the trunk while he's paddling. And they just keep referring to it. It was interesting. <sighs> so anyway, they end up back at the house. And Tamara's doing... Shannon's hair and she says, so how was your fly fishing? And she was like, well, it wasn't so... I'd rather know. not yeah. yeah. Which I was already wondering. They were so close and they had to throw those... Like I thought they'd get caught on, on each like, other how too. Are you not gonna get caught on them? I know. I thought I they don't would know. too. I'm not a big fan of messing with the ocean. Not a fan of boats. No. And I think Shannon put it perfectly. Shannon was like, uh, I think we were just a little too loud for them. That there's no yeah. flies that are gonna come over and eat anything on a hook that no. we have because you know. So they're sitting at the table, which I have to say, all the tables that they've set for these ladies have been really quite pretty. Like, you know. I'm trying to remember it. I just remember a like, close-up of this elk. One ha- of, uh, I don't know about that. This one They had, had like, elk. Oh, all right. This one had like a napkin and it had like a flower, like a real flower like yeah. in it with stuff. It was Well, so you know just, what? You're always going to, as these, like, you know what? Not that, you know, Montana's not the typical tourist destination, I feel like, for most people. So when you're there, you want to make it like, you know, like those travel ads for states that you get. You want to boost it up so it's true. people go because... Here's my thing. When you go, majority now because of most housewives, even if it's not like their own state, but like, you know, for example, Aspen, it's not like there's no real housewives of Aspen, but like it's on the map now because of Beverly Hills, like in that sense where you're like, you want to go see where Kathy Hilton just threw down. Like, you know what I mean? So now it's like a housewife landmark, landmark essentially. So you want to make good, like who doesn't want to go now to the forest where the housewives christened with their piss next to the tent? There you go. There you go. See? You got to think of it like that. It's all tourism. They're work. It's crappy lake always. <laughs> it's always a crappy lake. So they end up down at dinner, and uh, I think it was was it Gina? Gina said that with her Peek kids, they do the highs and the lows of the trip. 
Or Who of, else of has whatever done peak and pit before? Somebody's done peak and pit. Oh, Beverly Hills does it. All I think the it's time. Beverly Hills. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They do peak I and couldn't pit. I can't remember who it was. Brenna does it a lot. Ah, oh, yeah, that's who. Well, it's not it. gonna happen anymore. Everything was fine until they got to Heather, yeah, and she mm-hmm. had to do her high and low. And I get where she was coming from, but yeah, but she said I don't know what she said her high was, but she said her low was something that she experienced exactly tonight. That, like, I guess while Shannon and, and Tamara were doing the hair, she may have sound like she knocked on the door and they wouldn't let her in, but I don't think that was the case because no. they showed a video of her being with them. We saw her doing their hair. The cameras were in there. It would have been caught on camera, them cutting her out, remember? That's the scene you were just talking about when they asked yeah. about the fly fishing. So wouldn't the cameras have caught that and shown it? I, I don't know. I, I understand what she's saying because like, you can see it already formulating that she's yeah. feels like she's going to get like bumped. left out or bumped well, or whatever. I think I was onto something. Remember how we were, I was saying, oh, this feels like it could be past season. She yeah. and Tamara, if they don't fix it. I was a little off. I was missing. Oh, oh, sorry. Heavens, she's throwing <laughs> things around here. I was a little off. I was missing Heather. It's going to be Tamara and Shannon and Heather. So that was, they're talking about, they feel like they're repeating the past years, which I feel like this is what it could be. I I, I do. I could see that being the fight that's going to happen. Yeah. But I don't feel like Tamara was trying to exclude Heather because let me say this. No, I don't think they were Tamara either. Tamara made such a big statement in her sit down saying, I want this to be the trip that pulls me and Shannon back together. So I think she had like tunnel vision on Shannon where she's like, I just want to be with Shannon and focus on Shannon. That she forgot about the other women because even so she wasn't including her her good friend Jen or she wasn't hanging out with Gina, which I know her and Gina are not like the closest, but like her, her focus was on Shan, Shannon. Yeah, like, make, that's, making that's amends That's what the clips were more like. But I think. Was I, that? I don't I, think it meant I, to be I, like I get that. where, you know, Heather's like, I worked really hard on a relationship with Shannon and and Tamara. And I think yeah. she feels like. She's we gonna, could slip that. Yeah, she's going to get left behind. But like they said, like they, they both openly said, like nobody kept her out of the room. Like, yeah. I don't know what she was but doing. Here's my thing. But I do think. Tamara and Shannon have a different relationship. Oh, yeah. Well, you have Shannon's to know that. Friendly. So like, you're going to know they're going to be Heather's, closer. Heather's, you know, doing taglines with her name in it. Uh, so you have that. Huh? She's doing taglines with her name in it. So, you know, obviously she's very about herself to Heather. Oh, I was so sure. I was, I was, I was lost. I thought you were talking gibberish for a second. <laughs> no, I'm not talking gibberish. So everybody's back now and they're doing a wonderful cleaning montage. Um, uh, uh. Screw the cleaning. Gina, who peanut butters peanut butter and jelly bread like that? Did you see how she put that peanut butter on the bread? No. Uh, it was an atrocity. As someone who has been, listen, consuming peanut butter and jellies every single day when I went to school and recently re-consuming. Yeah, but and, you didn't make your lunch then. No, but have you seen the peanut butter and jellies I've yeah, been making she, recently? She equated peanut, it to plastic food. <laughs> stop. You know, listen, the, when the plastic food, it like everything's so perfect. That's how it is. My peanut butter layer is perfect. The jelly's perfect. It's perfect. Your sandwiches were a mess, Gina. Get your shit together, Gina. Or don't yeah. eat the sandwich, those poor kids. It was, it, you know what? There's there's putting, you know what it looked like? Remember how we watched Vanderpump Rules and you said James was making a bad peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah. It was like that, but she wasn't even peanut butter anymore. Coop. I'm sorry. Coop, Coop. has his foot up on this. He's not licking your butt. Yeah, he's very close. All right, so we finally move away from all the cleaning, which is bizarre. You anyway. know what? Did you listen to the music, though? It sounded like the same in the trailer. Like, they're really trying to portray, portray these women as housewives. Again. Yeah, it ain't happening. Do you know what I'm talking Ain't about? nobody cleaning. Ain't nobody exercising. It's a bunch of horse crap. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so she's not falling for no, it. No, I'm not falling for it. So Tamara and Eddie are going on a hike. So this was Tamara's way of like spitting out the information about Jen and the, and yeah, the boyfriend. To her, to and she tells she... Eddie about like what he said about her. And then oddly enough, Eddie confirms it and says... He always does know a little gossip, Eddie. Right? He says, well, one of my friends also said something about him. Um, Watch like, him because he goes after, after married, married women. women. Yeah. So I know Jen's it's... trying to tote this as like she doesn't know what she's talking about, but, but it here's the thing. I feel like bit. if guys are gossiping about it, know, that's, that's pretty serious. Good. Like guys don't really gossip like yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's never good but, if guys you know, are. If the guys know about it, then it's like... Mm. And especially if it's like, you know, it's not like housewife guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this sounds like this happened when they weren't on the show, probably. So oh, it's definitely. not like no. there was no benefit no, in being no, like, ooh, you're yeah. on the show. Because, first off, no husband would do that. But I have to say, before that, I forgot to mention that I feel like people are coming for Heather a lot. <gasps> I was going to say that. Because especially Gina. All of a sudden, Whatever she's... Turn. Well, it seems like, of course, like, Shannon and Tamara are like, oh, she's making this up, or what, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then even Gina I, was like, everything she said... I thought that, too. Yeah, she was taking it out of... And, and, 
I think she's at the point where she doesn't even care because she was going to try to defend herself and then she was just like, you could just see her resign. She was like, Which, I don't care. I wonder if this is what makes her want to get that house in LA to get out of the OC because it's like, if all these women I mean, are going to gang up on you, well, what the hell? Why do I want to be friends with them? It could, Bring but her I to did. the Beverly Hills. I know. Beverly Hills. Beverly I think Hills. she would match up with those folks better anyway. But I, did. I could, I could, I can like envision her really well. Like I could see her being yeah. good friends with like Garcelle and Sutton. Oh yeah, and I, I see yeah. her with like Kyle. I can, I can really, I can really envision her in that cast. I could. I think we should do it. Swap. Like this is sports. I think they should give it a try at least. If they're moving, I think you should. I think we should give it a shot. We also find out that Cut Fitness is officially closed. He shut everything down while she was gone, and now they're opening the offices for the CBD company. Vina. Vena. 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 B E N A Vena Vena. Yeah, I don't know. But Whatever. They're opening the offices for that, so there you go. I mean, Eddie just sounds like he needs something to do for crying out loud. So get him in that office, please. Well, that's what she was saying. Get him back in the Jeez, office. He's really like desperate for something to do. So then we got a finally an Emily scene. She takes the daughter Very to. Very little. I, I guess this is what it's going to be. Is this daughter? I don't know. Takes the daughter to the first fan. modeling job. I have to say that the door did pretty good. Like, yeah, personality wise, she's see, yeah. she's got a good personality. I could see her being like one of those kids in like like on the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon commercials where they have like the little not like yeah no, like no, the no, toy yeah. commercials things like that. I could see her being like I could see her being in like one of those. She's got like a good. I don't listen. Acting's hard, but you know the commercials are a little bit easier. Yeah, well, I could Emily see- said she's not going to become no Yolanda and Gigi Hadid because you know Shane is a little Shane, short. Bashed on Shane, yeah, Shane's a little short. I feel like Emily's tall, but maybe she's not that tall. Maybe Shane's just that no, short. No, I think she is tall. I don't think it helps that Shane's that short, but I think she is tall. So I mean, the girl could end up having some height. I mean, come on now. She could definitely end up having some height, and uh, maybe she will become a Yolanda and Gigi. Maybe. Who knows? Who's to say? So now we have the actual scene where Jen is with Ryan, and she's going to tell him before that. The transition clip from Emily to Jen, the child holding onto that disc thing, just spinning in the park. What was that? Oh, I don't know. You I, kind I of saw it. She only saw no, it. I know. I oh, you guys will have to go back and watch it. it because I was just like, what is that kid doing? What is he doing? And was who? he playing a radio? A record, I mean, or something? <laughs> what? Aww. It was like at a park and there was like a pole and like a circle disc and he was just on it and it was spinning him around in a circle. I, yeah, It was, it. you, you ha- everybody will have to go back and see because it was just like, it was like, huh? Like you miss it, you, you're like, it, like if you caught it, you're like, what? But if you missed it, you thought nonetheless. Here she is thinking nonetheless. Yeah, <laughs> nonetheless. So we have Jen and Travis talking and she's finally getting into the crux of what went on that Tamara made this comment about him and it was you know it was wrong and it was outlandish and just like says so she makes she's making it up I, yeah. it's just i mean i don't want to say i don't think she is though i don't want to say when i look at her husband oh he i get looks a, like a cheater yeah, i don't want to say that like some but people have that look and he he looks like yeah. it yeah i don't want to i i i feel bad saying that if he's not a cheater but if he is a cheater then i don't feel bad okay so there you go yeah no he, I think if he is a cheater, I don't feel bad. If he isn't, then... I think okay. he is, sadly. I, I do think he but, is. Of course, he's saying that it was nothing, but he also said something. I was trying to watch him. There was something ooh. he was saying that was making me feel like, oh, see, it's one of those things where you're saying one thing, but it's really coming out the other. I'm like, oh, I wish I could pinpoint it better. So now, on this one, we do get to see Gina and Travis talking about her situation and what like, troubles her and all that good stuff. Yeah. And he kind of does, like like I said, like he does a little it was like, a nice, yeah, interview. It was a nice... And he says, you know, like you know she's my person. There. So like I, if she can't tell me stuff, yeah. then. Which I thought was very nice because some guys would not want to keep hearing about your ex and what you left behind because then they're going to think, well, does she want to be here? I mean, like, kind of looks like our neighbor. Doesn't he? A little bit. A yeah. little bit. He does kind of look like God our bless neighbor. You, sir. Maybe that's why I try to block him. <laughs> that's why I keep forgetting who he is. It's just an accident. I still can't even get Gina and Emily right. I'm still sometimes like, who's who? Which, once again, doesn't it just end? Just ends. It just ends with her and Travis talking. Yes, and it ends, kind of ends with like Gina trying to get ta- tra- Travis, trying to get <laughs> Travis on her side and like agree with her and all. And he's kind of like, listen, you don't know what people are going through. Yeah. You know, Heather just lost both of her kids. I can't imagine losing like even one of mine to school, even though yeah. you know they're like around. 
she's like, you know, you, you have to give her a little bit of, you know, something that maybe she has an issue. Yeah. So Which this is, this is where, that. that's why I was going to say, this is the part where I was like, it really hit me. I'm like, everyone really is ga- ganging up on Heather. Yeah. And I can envision it. I can see Gina, Taylor, Shanna, Tamara, all going against her with Emily being this man in the middle. Like, because she kind of missed out on this Montana trip, so she's kind of, like, missing some aspects of it. Because we do know in that scene where they have the wigs in the trailer, she was talking to Heather about something. I can't remember now because we've watched that so long ago. (laughs) But, you know, there was something there. And I do think, you know what's so funny, too, about the scene with uh, Gina and Travis is remember when we said, oh, she's going to have issues with the husband? And, like, he's, like, proving the complete opposite. No, we thought it was going to be something to do with that, and it it turned out to be nothing. You know what I'm wondering now? I'm wondering also, like, the scene, I just thought about it, too, where Shannon slaps Heather with the quesadilla in the trailer. Like, I hope that's not one of the scenes they cut. Like, I'm wondering where that's going to fall. We might have to rewatch the trailer to see how much we're still missing. Okay. (laughs) I don't okay. really no because it's funny because I really don't have I really don't have much after that because it no, just kind of it abruptly just ends. ends and yeah. I do kind of hate that we don't have the previews especially since we're watching Atlanta right now and we're watching the previews between the reunions right now and we're like yeah. oof these were better than some but I think they were a little too literal like you know what I mean what like the taglines some of them sometimes they're like really like like the Heather one you have to kind of like figure think about it, it out but I a little think bit that is very Heather to like have no, no, to no, like no 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 I know that it. but I'm saying is like you still have to think about it a little bit like where I feel like cameras is just you get it yeah like it's they're yeah. very open like there's no like mystery to it or something like you know it's just I don't know well that's it for this week we'll be back on Wednesday with yeah. New York now and then Thursday with crappy and then we'll be back on Monday with OC Whew. We got a we got a jam packed schedule. Also, we talk about it all. We ended up not doing it this past week because we've had a hell of a week. Honestly, we weren't even sure if we were gonna do this one, <laughs> <laughs> but we said we gotta do it. So we no, did. We just we, just, we gotta pull out of yeah. the funk. But you know what? We're going to do a back-to-back upload, so we're doing yes, one this but week. but also, what we were going to discuss in the We Talk About It All, it was actually better that we didn't because it, it just it kept, kept playing out. Yeah, it kept going, so. So it's perfect. Yeah. So that will be up this Friday. So you will have, you have a jam-packed week of us if you listen to all our podcasts. you got four new episodes to listen to. Get and no, on it. And no excuse for not listening to the last couple of ones because we gave you an extra space to fit it in. Hey. By not having the talk at all. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, you should yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. You should be all space. caught up. You could fit it in. Yeah, we give you lots of content. But that's all for now. Make sure you leave us a good rating, and if you're on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Don't give us a thumbs down. It says leave a comment telling us how we can improve. Subscribe and follow and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes. Because you know, like we, we just switched around the upload the whole dates, thing, yeah. so you don't want to. What if you get confused and lost and we can't find you? We can find them? We cannot find you if you get lost. <laughs> we just hope that you'll figure it out. Yeah, okay. I think you're a little lost here. I'm ready to go She to looks bed. like she's ready for bed. Yeah. Cooper's ready for bed. Sissy's ready for her, her like, 100th meal today. Yeah, it's not happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's got to stop. <laughs> she's got to be stopped. Yeah, yeah. Sky stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hit the button. It's got yeah, we'll we got to go to bye. bed. Bye. Hit the button.